Hi everyone, my name is Susan. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping with Sue. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, a lot of Christmas stuff that I picked up for Christmas pocket letters that I'll be making, so let me show you. Before I show you the Christmas stuff, I'll just show you a couple of stickers I found for friend mail. You may have seen this one before, but I had not. The Crafter Square. And that little sign says, enjoy this sweet moment. Now I might save that little sign for pocket letter too. And this I also had not seen before. Again, this may not be new for you, but this is new for me. So very excited about it. Um, and then I bought two of these for school because I had not seen these before. And I thought they'd be really awesome for teaching the kids numbers because I teach four and five year olds and that's what they're learning this year is numbers and letters. So I've got two of those. I just wish they had more balls, but yeah, maybe I can make some, just find some balls and put a Velcro on them. So we'll see. Okay, so let's get into the holiday stuff. So I'm thinking pocket letters, I'm thinking stickers and ribbon and all kinds of things. Uh, if you don't know what a pocket letter is, it is a special kind of letter that you send to someone that has a design on it. Usually it's a theme and you pick um, different kinds of paper. Well, what you do to start with is you buy a plastic baseball card holder sheet and they actually sell them at Walmart, but you can get them online from Amazon too. They're pretty standard size and there are nine pockets in them where you would put the baseball cards. But what you do is you put other things in them instead. And if you're interested in learning about pocket letters, you can um, enter it in the search bar on YouTube and there are lots of great videos out there. So uh, I just started making pocket letters a few months ago and oh, they're just so much fun. And the reason they're called pocket letters, not just that you put the things in the pockets, but also because you put little gifts for the person you're sending it to in the pockets. You might put a tea bag, you might put a flat kind of candy, like maybe a really, really little miniature Hershey bar that's kind of flat, tuck it into the pocket behind the pretty picture design that you made, or rolls of washi tape. So I was thinking about all that stuff when I went on this Dollar Tree haul. So let me show you what I found. So I found, excuse my hair, my hair is always nuts. <laughs> It's always crazy. Anyway, so I found um, I found these guys, which are really awesome. And some of this stuff could also be used for friend mail, but I like these. I'm not going to paint these. I like the natural, and I like the glitter, too. I think the glitter is nice. And then I found these really cute little bows. All this stuff is in the, you know, the Christmas section at Dollar Tree. And these, I think, are gonna be really cute. You can put stuff inside the pockets or outside the pockets. So these were in with the ornaments and I just thought they'd really look very cute in the pockets. Um, I got some of the fake snow, so I'm probably gonna accent some of the pictures that I put in the pocket with the, the fake snow. Now you gotta be careful once you open this up, though. You let these little guys out, oh boy. <laughs> especially in the winter because there's so much static that they get all over everything. So I'm going to open these very carefully, these little styrofoam balls. And then I actually picked up these gift tags, not for gift tags, but to use as stickers on pocket letters. So I can use them, of course, for gift tags if I want, because I do have a lot of Christmas gifts that I give to people. And then I found, oh, I thought these would be perfect. They're bells. On the side of the pocket letter, you hang strings and ribbon and beads, and I'm gonna do bells. Ah. They had three different sizes of these bells. They also had them in gold and silver, but I just went with the red and green. And they had small, medium, and large. So I got the, I don't know, it doesn't say which size these are, but I'm, I'm pretty sure these are the, the medium. I think the smalls were too small. For what I wanted and then I also picked this up for pocket letters because it's got the red truck on it so I'm gonna take this apart cut this apart and probably cut this out use this so th this is actually gonna be f these are gift boxes but I'm gonna use them for the pocket letters let me show you the ribbon I got it got a lot of really pretty ribbon I realize you're seeing the back of my head a lot but 
I'm sitting on my bed, so everything is here next to me. So I got, of course, just plain red and green. Um, the top one is chiffon, the bottom one is satin. And then I got sparkly. I got blue. I thought maybe I'll try doing a Hanukkah pocket letter. Never know. And red sparkly. I love sparkles. And then this one's really cute. It says Holly Jolly Christmas. Have a Holly Jolly Christmas on it. They had a lot of different ones, but, um, you know, I just picked out the ones that I really liked. This one I love. The spiral design is one of my favorite designs in everything. It's just, I don't know, I've just really taken to it. You know how you kind of have a lucky number? This is just one of my things that I love. But it also has snowflake, snowflake spiral. I thought that was pretty. And then some green sparkly ribbon. Two more ribbons, I think, to show you. Gold. And this is white satin with snowflakes. Kind of hard to see. There you go. They, had, they have so many beautiful ribbons. So I was just trying to pick the ones that I thought would go with the themes that I'm going to do. Okay, so I showed you those. I showed you those. Okay. And then <laughs> these are sad because <laughs> someone stole the little trees off them. But all I needed was one. And I figured I could even use the red trucks without the trees. So, and, and this is the only one I could find. I mean, six stores. And this is the only one I could find. And it was bedraggled and beaten and bedraggled. But I said, I'll take it. Now, when you're done making a pocket letter, it's got all those goodies inside. So you fold up the, you know, it's three panels. You fold it. And then you got to wrap it with something so the stuff doesn't all fall out. So a lot of people use doilies. I don't love doilies, but I do like colored doilies. So, oh, it's really hard to see. There you go. Red doilies. I got red doilies. I got green doilies the other day. And I found some really interesting white doilies that I showed you on my Michaels haul. So I'm always looking for something a little different. And then I also got some of this decorative mesh. So this is something else I might wrap the pocket letters in and then you wrap your pocket letter with something and then you tie bows and things on it so I got this what do I call this stuff mesh tube I got this and we'll have a green one but as typically happens to me oh here it is <laughs> things fall off the bed or roll away here we go green and red mesh so we'll see and you can just tie really nice little bows and pocket letters are so fun to make and they're the only thing better than making pocket letters is getting one so fun and then when, if you get a bunch of them you could store them however you want of course you could leave them folded up and store them folded up or you can um they have holes on them because they're meant to go in a notebook so i have a little binder to keep pocket letters in so that i got at dollar tree so you could do that and I think the last thing, what was there? Oh, there was one more thing of stickers here. I really like this one too. I like the, the natural and the colors and I love the details they put on these. I think they're so pretty and they have the stickers on the back. So most of this haul was for pocket letters, but I just picked up, these are new stickers. I'm always checking out, you know, they just have a, um, on the usually on that on the side of the end cap they have their stickers that they have all the time you know just like little rainbow hearts and no, no big deal so but they have these these are new toy story so i actually got these toy story 2 i got, no <laughs> toy story 4 sorry i got these for school for party favors and they're looking pink in this light i'm sorry it's because i have pink curtains and my lamp is on it is they are not pink they're on a yellow background Maybe if I put it up close, you can, no, it's not much better. But anyway, I'm not catching the light, but it's a yellow background. And I'm going to use these for school because we are having a kindness party at school soon. And we have a kindness jar at school. And when a child does something nice for another child or for one of the teachers, like if we ask them to help us get something, 
like, could you go get me a piece of red paper from the paper shelf because my hands are full of glue. Um, the kids get to put a marble in the Kanye's jar, and the Kanye's jar is about this big, and when it's full, we have a party. Well, guess what? It's almost full. So this, so I give them a bag of party favors, and we have a special treat, and we have a party. So these are going to be one of the party favors I'm going to give the kids, each a stick, a, a, a sheet of the stickers. So that's the haul for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you think you're interested in doing pocket letters, go um, look up some videos and see what you can see. Okay, take care. See you next time. Bye.